And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Jackal and High. I'm not sure why it's called Jackal and High. You're supposed to be shrewd like a jackal, and you're trying to get high rolls and dice. This is a dice rolling game from Zock. Zock has made many dice rolling games. They often have to do with chickens and birds, so this one has a different theme at least. And in this one, you get to roll eight-sided dice. Yeah! Who doesn't love ro rolling eight-sided dice? Raise your hand. What? You're raising your hand? Stop watching this review. This is about rolling eight-sided dice. At the beginning of the game, each player gets three eight-sided dice in the color of their choice. And you're going to turn over cards from this deck each round equal to one more than the number of players. So for just sake of camera here, we're going to pretend it's a three-player game. Now when you draw one of these take two cards, you'll put another card on top of it. So you also have a card at the beginning of the game starts over here in the vulture pile. And so what I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to roll some dice here. So I roll my dice and I have a 7, a 4, and a 6. Now I can place 1, 2, or 3 of these dice. I have to put at least one die out. If I can't put a die on any card, then I, get, I have to throw it over here in the vulture area. Now a card, a die can go anywhere as long as the total sum of my dice in that card does not exceed it. Well, yeah, I got a 7 here exactly, so I think I'm going to put that there. And I'm done. So then, let's say the next player goes and that player is yellow, and yellow rolls a 2, 2, and a 6. Well, they're going to put the 2 here, and then they're done. Now the blue player goes, and they roll a 1, 1, and a 1. So they decide they're going to put a 1 here on the 5, and that's it. So back to the green player. Green player rolls and gets a 7 and a 6. They'll put the 7 here. They're done. Yellow player rolls. They roll a 5 and a 4. They're going to put the 5 here, and that's it. Then the blue player is going to roll. They roll a 6 and a 6. So they put the 6 here on the 11. Finished. Now, green's going to go. Green only has one die left. So green can roll this die up to three times. So green is trying to get a 2 or a 5. 2, 3. Roll to 3. Green will put the 3 here on top of the 5. Not that that matters at this point. So then yellow goes, yellow gets an 8, yellow doesn't want an 8, yellow wants a 7. So he'll roll again, 2, 3, so he just puts it over here. And blue needs a 4 or a 5, gets a 5 and puts it there. Okay, so everyone's done, now we start with each card. 3 and 1, they don't even equal 5, so these dice are moved over here. Yellow gets both of these cards, yellow also gets this card. Green gets this card. This card is going to be fought over because they both put, actually no, never mind, green's out. Blue put 11, so blue gets this card. But let's say that two people had gotten, I'll put something on the same card. So let's say green had a green seven here and yellow had two dice like that, both sevens. At this point, you roll off for the card. So green rolls and gets a three, yellow rolls both dice and gets a nine. So putting more dice in a card gives you a better chance of getting it. You're going to put these cards in front of you. Cards are going to be worth points at the end of the game. These are the paws that are on the cards. And the cards have all different sorts of numbers. There's also a lucky eight. Uh, if you win a lucky eight, you get nothing, but you also get all the cards that no one else has won. So there's all sorts of different cards in here. There's take twos and the different paws. Then you go from, number, from one all the way up into the low 20s. Now. After this is over, we're going to look at this section over here. I believe this is called Vulture Valley. And in this area, players, um, whoever, ha everyone is going to roll dice, and whoever gets the highest number is going to take the card that's there, if there is one. Whoever has the lowest number is going to have to take the top card from all the cards that they've taken. You put them in a stack and put it here 
up for grabs. If only one person's there, they get the card. If only one person's there and there's no card there, they have to put a card there. This will continue until the entire deck is gone. At that point, players will just simply add up all their paws, and that person has the biggest pack of jackals and is the winner of the game. Jackal High honestly doesn't bring anything really new to the table, okay? This is just another kind of variation of roll dice and then try to use those dice and get cards and hope you roll the right number. But just because it doesn't add anything new to the table doesn't mean that it's not interesting and fun to play. It is fun to roll eight-sided dice. And you only get three of them, but you know, the fact that you can roll them and say, okay, I'm gonna put a die here and then hope that I get this, this other die because that's three paw prints and I would like to get that card and win the game or this one's a take two, so I'll get more that way. The dice roll offs are fun too, but realize that there's a certain level of randomness in the game. And by certain level, I mean whoop, pretty high and I'm a tall guy and this is much higher than that. I like it, but I think that this one kind of skirts the, I like it and I have fun with it, but I don't know that I would ever go out of my way to hunt it down. And again, that for me, it's not a deal breaker. And that's also because I've played so many of this style game, but I think that you can still really get into the spirit of the game and it can be fun where you sit there and you roll your three dice and then you say, Ooh, I rolled exact. Yes. I put the dice out and then someone else rolls two dice and you know, I rolled a seven and then you roll six and one and put it on the same card. Okay, that's fine, now we have to roll off, but I'm only rolling one die and you're rolling two. And so I find stuff like that very interesting, And but, it's a, but basically as a quick filler. The side of the box is 20 to 30 minutes. It's probably closer to 20, and it can go pretty well. The game plays between three and five players, and I probably does well best with the biggest group of players just because there's so many people rolling off, and there's a lot of roll-offs, and again, like I said, if you don't like randomness and die rolling, this isn't gonna do you any favors. There's no way to manipulate the dice, nothing. You're just rolling to see who rolls better. Sometimes though, that's all you need. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Awesome! Yeah. Yeah.